Hey, what is happening, Bulls and Bears? Welcome. It is June 30th, the last day of June 2022. It's Thursday. Hope everybody's doing well, having a good week. Uh, it's been a pretty good week. I've been doing some trading because uh, these markets are pretty predictable considering what's happening. Ugly day in the Dow Jones. We're going to talk about that. Ugly day across the board for all stock indexes. We're going to talk about that. But first, the economy continues to slow. The recession snowball is picking up speed. We have retailers now that are facing the consequences of a consumer that is getting close to being tapped out. Many consumers are already tapped out, and that's why you see this, the debt levels exploding. And now it's going to shift over to the retailers. They're going to see uh, less business, and that's going to be more layoffs. And this is going to snowball into uh, just a nightmare economic situation that we're really going to see come to fruition later this year. Uh, but every day that goes by, there's news that continues to pour out, letting us know uh, that this economy is headed into uh, more dangerous territory. Yeah, so here's what we have on tap today. The recession snowball picks up speed. Paper wealth is vanishing with the market drop. Consumers going broke. Retailers feeling the pain. And that's going to be more job losses. Let's go ahead and get started with our first story. Today, a big red day on Wall Street. The Dow Jones down 253 points. The S&P 500 down almost another 1%. The NASDAQ, the big loser, 1.3%. Russell 2000, almost a 1% drop today. Now, we did see this little bit of a rally last week, and I told you it was probably going to be just a, a dead cat bounce, right? Nothing goes straight down, nothing goes straight up. But I continue to see the downtrend. Uh, going on as long as the support is being pulled out from under these markets. What is that? That's higher interest rates, uh, the actual rate hikes, plus the talk of future rate hikes. Just the talk of future rate hikes puts fear into investors because they know it's all propped up by debt and money creation. And as we close out the first half of 2022, here's a very important and to me a very startling statistic not so startling if you've been paying attention but just look at this stock slide to close out the worst first half in over 50 years for the s p 500 the s p 500 is down over 20 percent year to date um down 8.4 percent in june alone right the worst first half in over 50 years think about that 50 years so this takes us all the way back to the early 1970s. And we look at the S&P 500, I think it's more important than the Dow Jones. There's more companies in the S&P 500, so that gives us a more real snapshot of what's happening in these markets. And as paper wealth vanishes, you're gonna see even bigger pain now bleed over to the broader economy. Even if you're not in the stock market, um, the falling market uh, puts people in fear mode and when people see their savings vanishing or their retirement account vanishing Guess what they're gonna do? Are they gonna go out and spend more? Or are they gonna be more cautious? Are they gonna pull back on spending? Of course, right? They're gonna pull back on spending and what happens when people pull back on spending and what happens when you combine that with an economy? That's over 70% consumer spending. Well, you have a further deteriorating economy, so we're gonna continue to see uh, this economic situation unfold and get worse and worse and worse and these rising costs are not going to help things actually it's going to speed up it's going to accelerate the economic pain and bring on the uh, the recession even more quickly now I think we're already in a recession uh, what the officials use to gauge recession is uh, you know something that I think is irrelevant it's GDP and GDP can be manipulated. You can just send out stimulus checks and GDP will jump up. So sh should that be uh, how the economy is measured? No, it should be how much debt people have. If you look at how much debt people are in, we're worse now than the Great Depression. The only thing keeping so many people alive, uh, I think most people actually wouldn't even be alive right now if it weren't for the ability to borrow money and take on debt. Right, but let's talk about a couple things. What's happening with retail because of the slowdown in consumer spending, paper wealth vanishing, people are pulling back on spending. 
And one of the retailers making news lately is Bed Bath & Beyond. And it's described here, a recent article out of Axios, as a hot mess. So not just a mess, but a hot mess. Now, let's go ahead and pause just for a minute because to me, I always wondered what kind of mess is a hot mess. To me, it sounds like sounds like crap. Hot mess sounds like a pile of crap. Uh, it just got crapped out. Maybe an animal, maybe a dog did it. And it's fresh and it's still hot. It's steaming. It's a steaming pile of crap. That's what hot mess is. But let's go to uh, the dictionary. And not the Webster dictionary, but the slang dictionary. Why? Because... The Webster Dictionary is born. Uh, here's what it is, hot mess. You might be hot and you might be a mess, but are you a hot mess? Hot mess is used to describe particularly a disorganized person or chaotic situation. In some uses, a person described as a hot mess is attractive, but just barely keeping it together. So is Bed Bath & Beyond still attractive? Well, I'll take a look and see what's happening with that company. Right, so I guess I was off. I guess it's not a pile of poop, but uh, let's take a look and see what's happening. After their same store sales plunged by about 25%, their stock has recently dropped to a 26 year low. So that's definitely a hot mess. That's definitely a pile of crap. Now we've talked on here about the retail apocalypse for a very long time. Um, it got delayed in 2020 with all of the stimmies and the rescue programs but as we see the uh, programs the rescue programs uh, ended uh, a lot of things are getting back to normal and the normal is uh, more of this retail apocalypse and more stores businesses will be vanishing and more jobs vanishing and that's more economic deterioration more people in the unemployment line um, it's just a matter of time before the jobless claims and the unemployment number uh, starts to go much much higher right but is the unemployment number even relevant unemployment is near a 50-year low right now but does it matter when wages are not even close to keeping up with the cost of living and people just have to borrow money swipe cards borrow money swipe cards even though they're employed so are these jobs even good enough to keep people from going down the bankruptcy trail uh, for the most part the answer is no these jobs are not good enough and over the decades, a lot of the higher paying jobs, as most of you know, got shipped overseas, uh, a lot of them to Asia. And because the United States has the world's reserve currency, it still allowed Americans, most of us anyways, to live a very good life, even though uh, most of the good jobs have been shipped overseas. And pretty much it's just been a debt binge ever since. Without debt, the economy would have been dead a long, long time ago. And folks, this recession train is just getting rolling. A recent survey, Provident Bank, finds 83% of consumers are cutting back on personal spending and travel due to inflation. You know, that's going to be more job losses. So with so many job losses on the horizon, you would think at some point there would have to be some price drops, some deflation. When people run out of money, then demand falls off a cliff you would think prices would come down but if we're headed into a food crisis um, prices could continue to rise even at the same time as we see a bankruptcy surge amongst the population so uh, insane times that we're headed into folks continue to keep stay prepared keep stacking have extra food on the side uh, have water I just got another Berkey Berkey water filter uh, this one's the travel Berkey, so if we have to go somewhere or head out somewhere in an, in an RV, we'll have a, uh, a smaller Berkey water filter in case we have to do that. We're just trying to think of different things, different scenarios uh, in case uh, things do continue to get worse. And uh, I think things are looking like they're going to get worse. So please let me know what you think down in comments with uh, Bed Bath & Beyond, uh, the vanishing wealth. And uh, do you think it's a hot mess? What do you think about it? It looks like a hot mess to me. Thanks everybody for being here. Keep stacking, stay well, peace.